welcome back to my channel it's me Lishe slash T and I hope you're all doing well and safe wherever you are so today's video is by a viewers request and I'm basically just going to briefly go over um, how to use a shape and also create a shape um, now if you enjoy the creative aspect of creating characters i definitely think uh, this part of creating a shape might be something that you might enjoy um, but let's get started so when it comes to shapes whether you buy one or you create one especially when you decide to purchase a shape there are a few things you have to keep in mind and most of the time the ads will state this but when you're still new and trust me i've been there you're still new and confused uh, it does get a bit tricky so the first thing that you need to understand is that creating shapes comes in one format uh, you have one way of creating a shape um, then obviously there's another way where you make use of mesh items so for example the shape that you are seeing was made with the assistance of a mesh head and a mesh body now these are things that you have to purchase separately unless there is a shape creator out there who also makes a head and a body then that's amazing but most of the time you have to purchase these items separately and the shape is just made based on the head and the body mesh head and body then obviously you can create a shape but by using system avatars so system avatars are system avatars. Uh, they are these avatars that you'll find. Now these are the old ones, but there's new fantasy and classic yada yada old ones. Most of the time when you log in, you probably are going to show up with Bitsy or with this guy. But now there's obviously the Senra, um, the Senra avatars, so they are now mesh, so that's that. But there's that way of creating shapes. Um, second thing, don't want to ramble, but the second thing is you have to understand that there are different brands. Just like in real life, there are different brands for heads. There are different brands for bodies. Now, depending on which body or head you have purchased, that will decide on which shape is best fitted for you. Now, this is when you are buying a shape. So you might notice an ad will, like this one, will show up and it will have Lelutka Lily and Legacy or Ibody Reborn and Genus. So those are the things that you have to keep a lookout. So if you have a genus head, sorry, if you have a genus head and you are using a Beleza body, you can't expect to use a shape that was made for a Katwa head and a Legacy body. Uh, you're not going to get the same results. Now, there's always an exception to the rule, and I have obviously experimented in my free time. Sometimes when you create a shape, it doesn't look disproportioned, like extremely blown out. Sometimes it actually does go well, um, but most of the time it doesn't. And when, when it comes to buying shapes, you are less likely to get a demo if you do get a demo it's going to be either just a head shape or just a body shape and maybe the head will be extremely disproportioned or if it's a face shape then the body is going to be 
extremely disproportioned so that's just something to keep in mind but once you've gotten those two simple things then you can obviously feel free to create or buy now I uh, have, as I've stated previously I have my own shapes so let me let me get you some okay so when you buy a shape um, now for this example I'm using my shape uh, so it won't work perfectly because now I am wearing a body mod or add-on which is the waifu boobies so the bigger boobies so when I created this shape it was strictly just based on the body so for so this is uh, an old shape that I made so this is for as I've stated it's for Lelutka Prim and it is shown on Reborn now even though this is the ad so if you are trying to achieve this look then you're going to need a Lelutka Prim and you're going to need a body reborn the body but obviously I have made other shapes for Cupra Legacy and SP Peach so now obviously because as you can see Cupra and Peach are quite completely different from Reborn and Legacy I don't know what I was thinking but I tried to make the shapes a bit similar but as you can see I've stated this is the head you need this is the body you need so once you've unpacked whether it's any shape that you buy uh, most shapes will come obviously with eyebrows uh, eyebrow shape and then this is the different um, shapes so because i were reborn you would use reborn if, if, or if you use cupra then you would use cupra so let's wear it there we go so this is the shape so all you have to do is add it now because as i've stated i am currently wearing the boob add-on it's not going to look the same so obviously as you can see We've got um, big problems here. And I'm also wearing deformers. And I'm also wearing deformers. So it looks it looks weird. It definitely does look like oh what's going on but that simply is because I'm not wearing the skin I'm not wearing um, what I should be for the specific shape but most shapes come with a style card now because this is an older shape I am not it is not as in-depth as my newer ones are so i you know it's a progress i'm improving little by little but as you can see i sh should have uh the skin so let's get the skin So now obviously for the sake of this video I'm not going to be adding all the details and all that but okay. so for the sake of this video I am not going to be adding the blushes and the lips but I hope you can more or less see that it's starting 
to take form so this is the this is the the shape and then obviously this is the skin obviously without the blushes and the hair it's going to, and the lashes and the eyes it's going to look different but I'm hope you starting to get the picture let's move on so that was prim so that's a shape that's specifically made for prim and prim has um, very cupid like brats like lips which is another reason why I like it it does have a very youthful face so some people might not like it but I honestly just love it for the lips now the next shape that I'm going to show you is not for let me, let me just remove the skin okay. okay so the next shape was made for Lelutka Aura. Now Lelutka Aura is completely different from Lelutka Prem. Uh, this is the okay. Now this is obviously shown on Cupra but then there are these other bodies as well. Now, okay. now let's see how it looks. So this is Aura for Reborn. So this is Aura for Reborn. Now remember, we saw Cupra. And I also mentioned that I am wearing a boob mod to have bigger boobs. So when I made these shapes, I did not consider that. But the ad showed Cupra. So let's see how Cupra looks like on Reborn. This is Cupra. Also keep in mind I am wearing deformers. I'm, I'm kind of lazy to remove them. But deformers obviously they change the shape of the body as well but I hope the picture is starting to form how different shapes that are made for different bodies will look if I were to use the Erica one this is how Erica would look and now because the shape of the head like this is the prim head but the shape was made for aura you're not getting the same the same one as the ad so that's something to keep in mind now let's say you don't want to purchase a shape let's say you want to create your own shape Don't do what I did. So you want to obviously open your inventory, click on your inventory, then you want to right click and you want to go to new body parts and you want to go to new shape. And that's your new shape. Now you can obviously wear the shape and when you use this method of adding a new shape you are able to transfer it to other people you're able to if you want to sell it you can sell it rather than what i did for about two years which was absolutely silly because i would start with the system avatars when i wanted a fresh new look i would base my shape on the shape that came with the system avatar and that included the eyebrows as well until you realize oh I can't 
do what I wanted to do with this shape. So if I wanted to upload it on the marketplace, there's restrictions because I did not quote unquote originally create this shape. It was created by a linden. But that's what we do. You just add and then you have a new shape. Now obviously it's going to look distort distorted tall and then you work on it so you want to edit it you're going to right click edit you can also interact with your avatar by right clicking on your avatar and you will see appearance and then there's an option for edit shape so there's different ways of entering um, this mode of editing shape sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but you'll notice that there are pictures that show you how your avatar will look like once it's in the extremeness um, if you watch my previous avatar creation videos you might notice I do tend to go from one slider to the next just to see how extreme and what is not the extremeness of it. This is a great way to also understand different bodies. Um, but yeah, so you get everything, you get the body from height, thickness, body fat. Don't touch the hover height, just leave it at 50 because that's also something that can be edited um, apart from this menu. Um, but you have the head, you have eyes, ears, nose, mouth, chin, torso, legs. And obviously it goes into detail about butt size, knee angle, foot size and all that. And obviously there's the male and the female shape and obviously there's height. Now, another thing to remember, when you are saving your shape, don't forget to name your shape. Don't forget to name the body that you just used. Don't forget to name the head that you've just used, that you've just used, sorry. Don't forget to mention any body add-ons that you have added and then you click save. Um, if you want to name it whatever, it's fine. Uh, you don't have to name the head and the body and the mods. But if you are a person that owns more than one body, it definitely does come handy to know um, which body shape is for which head so please don't mind my messy inventory I will make a time to sort it out again but this is the shape that I'm wearing so this is my shape reborn waifu x prim and then if I have made other adjustments so then I will obviously state smaller waifu plus smaller hips and then obviously I just wear that and then we're back to home sweet home now there are a lot of different shape stores um, I do suggest you go and look and you find what you think you like some people make shapes so that you know for people that don't want to do do the whole process of you know starting from your body size and head and all that adjustments because I do understand it does feel a bit intimidating doing all the process of getting your avatar together. And so, so when you have someone who puts out a shape uh, and has a nice detailed style card, it does 
uh, it definitely does come in handy but another thing that I forgot to mention and I do hope there's still someone watching at this part oh my bad is the third thing I forgot to mention the third thing and is absolutely important when it comes to creating shape is skins you might have noticed when I added the Yuna shape it seemed weird why because when I made that shape I did not make it using the skin that I'm currently wearing I made it using that Yuna shape and obviously with the blushes and all that it does add more and I think it brings me back to what I mentioned in my previous uh, a video of how to have a unique um, character skin plays an important role now obviously some people don't have money to be splurging on skin so when you can find a skin on sale or a skin that you truly feel like this is the one for me you have to um, you have to be able to keep in mind that when you create a shape you obviously create something that you love and obviously obviously you create something that enhances the shape uh, because most of these creators did take you know their time to work on the skin so that's just something to keep in mind so the brand of so the first thing just as a refresher <laughs> things to consider when buying or making a shape mesh items mesh head mesh body skin and different bodies understanding the different bodies and different um, heads there are obviously a lot and I probably will make a video just showcasing different um, brands of heads and bodies but there are a lot I feel like there's over 100 even more now 100 bodies on the grid and not all of them are getting the love that they deserve um, but each body and each head was made differently made to be shaped in a certain way um, and obviously when you have a head like prim the lips are obviously different so you might think oh all heads are the same yada 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 but when you look at when you truly look at the shape and you truly start to understand the the process of shaping you know your body or your head you will notice that there are limits that each item has for instance with peach so this is the peach body i have only added the body and obviously the clothing for it this is still the same reborn waifu x prim smaller hips smaller boobies and as you can see completely different completely 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 different from what reborn was and the same would be for Maitreya if I were to put on Maitreya Maitreya is a smaller body is a slimmer body it's going to look smaller than how reborn look and how peach looks so these are things that over time uh, it is good just to keep in mind you know you don't have to be uh, a know-it-all or have a PhD in understanding the vertexes and all that because I'm also still clueless but I have a bit of understanding that certain bodies certain heads are made a certain way and so even though you like it try to enhance the features for instance reborn and peach you know the big selling point is the booty so obviously if you purchase such items or shapes try to get shapes that still enhance you know that items um, selling assets 
So let me show you if I were to use the shape that I have made for prim and for peach. So this is the shape that I have made. There's a slight difference or maybe there's a big difference. Um, obviously the bust area is quite smaller. The hips are also quite smaller and are more inwards. So these are all things that are just good to keep in mind when buying and making shapes. I hope, I really, really do hope throughout my yapping and rambling, I was able to make some form of sense it's really really easy once you truly understand what you're supposed to do and what you need to look out for and what you need again I'll repeat when buying shapes you have to make sure that you have the right products so that includes the right head and right body the skin comes very very handy now when it comes to um, buying shapes it really does need someone who has money unless someone who made the shape has used an affordable skin because you could have the products you could have the head you could have um, the body and the head but if you don't have the skin then you won't get the exact look that is in the ad so that's something to keep in mind yes i really really hope this video was of use i hope you guys were able to understand me um but yes there's second life is all about experimenting exploring you know do what you want same goes for shopping so and your avatar if you feel scared that you might break something don't some, I felt like that in the beginning, like, oh, I'm scared to touch and do this here and there with something that I have purchased. Um, but if the store has a re-delivery and if the item has a reset button, please feel, don't feel scared. Feel free to press that reset button. If you break it, feel free to go to the store and get that re-delivery because at the end of the day, you bought that item. So you want to experience, you know, the full experience of owning that item. And I feel like being able to create shapes has definitely helped um, with making me feel comfortable exploring the shaping aspects. Even though it has been a while. But yes, um, but this, that's it for today's video, ladies. I hope it was not that bad. Um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, share, you know, if you want to, then feel free. And I'll see you guys very soon. And bye!